What's happening guys, welcome back to Sliced. Do you ever get those days where you really just can't be bothered to cook, you can't be bothered to go out and get the food, you can't be bothered to cook it? Well today I'm in that exact same kind of feeling. So to be honest, I'm just utilizing some of the ingredients I've got around me and you can do the same. So basically we had a bag of frozen salmon in the freezer, I just defrosted it, took the skins off and chopped them up into small bite-sized pieces. I also had a bunch of leftover rice from the night before. Some frozen veg as well that I had, I know it's not freshly prepped. Gum me down in the comments because I'm a chef and I'm not prepping fresh veg. I don't care. It's frozen, it's simple, we're going to use it. Pairing that along with a bunch of other stuff I had around me, let's make something special. So we're going to start off with our fish. So I've got this salmon, as I said before, it's been skinned and chopped into small pieces with the fat removed. Literally going to toss it in some plain flour and corn flour mixed together. About 100 grams of plain flour, 50 grams of corn flour should be enough. Two to one ratio, yeah, two parts flour, one part corn flour. Two parts plain flour, one part corn flour. Oh my god, see, I'm just so out of it today. But yeah, the plain flour is going to give it a really nice sort of firm structure. The corn flour is going to make it really nice and crisp. You're just going to toss it lightly. You don't want it to be like completely dredged in flour. You just want it to be really lightly sort of covering the whole thing. What I'm going to do then is we're going to fry it. I'm using a good old pandle. I've called it pandle because it's my pan with no handle. It just broke off one day. I don't know why. And once it's really nice and crispy, we're just going to remove it to one side. Meanwhile, I'm going to start with our rice. We're going to make egg fried rice. This is perfect because I know what it's like. You make rice at home and you realize you've made way too much. This is the perfect way to stop the wastage of rice. So all I'm going to do is heat up my wok on a medium high heat with some oil in it. Start frying off the rice, you know, break it up a little bit because it's going to start clumping together once it's been in the fridge for a while. Then we're going to go ahead and season it. Normally I would use a lot of like fresh ginger, fresh garlic, fresh spring onions and stuff like that. But in this case, we're just trying to really get something quick together. So I'm just frying off the rice with some soy sauce, sesame oil, some oyster sauce as well. I'm also going to go in with some chili, some honey and a spritz of lemon. You can literally put whatever you want in this. It's your creation. Do whatever you want. Once we've done that, we're going to mix in all the veg and just sort of mix it together. To be honest, like, they don't really need a lot of cooking time, they're just frozen veg, you know, it's already been, like, par-cooked. So we're just going to mix that through and then we're going to create a well in the middle, adding a little bit more oil and just cracking about two or three eggs depending on the size of your rice or how much egg you want. We're going to scramble it lightly in the middle before mixing it together with the whole thing. Once it's nicely cooked together and combined, that's our egg fried rice done, we're going to keep it to one side. Alright, next up we're going to make the most gas sweet and sour sauce. I use this all the time. It's inspired by, uh, what's that place called? Panda Express's um, orange chicken. Oh, it's banging. So what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze like the juice of two, three oranges. I'm going to go for three oranges in this case because we've got a lot of salmon. Combine it with a little bit of vinegar, soy sauce, honey and chili. And we're going to reduce this quite a bit. And we're also going to add in like one teaspoon of corn flour mixed in with some water just to the mix that we can thicken it a little bit and that's going to make the most banging sauce. Taste it as you go along, I'm not going to give you any recipe for it because it doesn't need a recipe, I mean some people like it sweeter, some people like it spicier, some people like it more sour, do what you want, literally these are the ingredients, go crazy. And the best thing about this recipe is that if you go too far with one ingredient, say you put too much orange juice in, just put more vinegar in, say you put too much vinegar in, put more chili in, say you put too much chili in, put more honey in, just do what you want, you know? I'm also going to add some sesame seeds in right at the end just to sort of give it that nice nutty sort of uh, sweet flavour. And that's basically it. So what we're going to do is take our salmon and toss it in that sauce, serve it up with our rice, and Lord have mercy, just look at that. That's so simple. Cooking is easy, man. What can I say? Like, just try it out at home, see how it goes. You're going to love it. So yeah, that's been today's video, guys. Really nice, really simple. Go ahead and try it. Let me know how it goes. Send me your pictures and attempts at slice underscore YT on all my socials, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, everything. I'll see you next time. Bye.